Lake's nice and calm. Getting ready for another hot and humid day. I'm getting ready for going out early. Only 8.30? Yep. 8.23. 77 degrees. Yep. That was the last time out. When have been the last time out? It's been so damn long, I can't remember. God, it's been almost two weeks. Actually, it's been over two weeks. Two weeks in a day. God, life gets in the way sometimes. Life and Mother Nature. You just can't fight the natural forces of the world. Yeah, had the family come visit and rain and more rain and then it's hot, humid and just this morning I haven't even had breakfast yet. It's like if I don't get out there, I'm not gonna get out there. But yeah, last time out I I think I remember seeing some fresh pavement on a road I rather enjoy, so... That's as good an excuse as any! God damn that breeze feels good! Yeah, it's supposed to rain all weekend, so... Approaching the one month since I've been camping, that'll be tomorrow. I'm watching the weather, I'm thinking if I can get a spot, I'm gonna go for four days next weekend. Meet up with the gang again. And then the following weekend... And weather dependent, but that's the annual Boogie and Blues Festival, which I will take part in. I have my tickets again, it's weather dependent. I'm gonna probably turn this now. But, uh, yeah, I'm a fair weather type of guy, so. The weather's going to suck, I'll probably stay at the home, but I can go each and every day if I want to. <laughs> then it's a couple of weeks and it's Labor Day, and I'm all going, well, again, weather dependent. I'm going for four days that weekend. Crazy times, crazy times. Northern Vermont just got wiped out again a couple of days ago, and... This time it affected friends. They lost their houses fine, but they lost their driveway. It had to be rebuilt. Compared to others, it's not so bad, but man, it still sucks. I just hate seeing it, but that's what it is. Hey, fresh pavement. Hope this goes all the way through. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I don't know the bridge. We're going to see some flooding. The Pemi is high, very, very high. From all the torrential day rain from the past couple days. This time of year, that part there is normally isolated. Or 
probably peaked yesterday or last night. Wow. What a few weeks for the country, huh? I try to stay away from politics, but damn. Assassination attempt that you now the news media is trying to hide the fact that there was an assassination attempt because it was on the other guy, not their, not their party. And yeah, I say that openly. You don't think the press is just an arm of the Democrats? You're silly. You're put Fox News. Well, I don't watch Fox, so. Come up with something else when you're talking to me. But good lord, that looks more and more like the Secret Service allowed it to happen. They just didn't care. It's like, go ahead, shoot him. I feel sorry for the agents that were on the stage that actually had the. Uh, that were in the line of fire, but. All the. All the leadership and planning, it just looks more and more like they didn't care. Go ahead, shoot. There's no fine line between incompetence and complicity, and no agency can be that incompetent. So how far up the chain does it go? We know the original director resigned. Good Lord, she ought to be prosecuted. She can't stupid. Ooh, the roof was too steep. Yeah, well, that's been proven to be an outright lie. In fact, it was proven to be a lie ten seconds after she said it, but there are idiots out there who believe it. Well, hopefully they'll get to the bottom of that. Then we have the party that's going to save democracy. They in there. Media wing once again hid from the world. Well, they thought they were hiding from the world. Just how far Biden has slid. Hey, good God, you have to have blinders on to not know that the guy is suffering from dementia. Anybody that's been paying attention known that he started getting it before the election. Why do you think they hid him in the basement for the whole election cycle? They couldn't trust him then. So they hit it to the primaries to make sure he got the primary, and then they could install whoever they wanted. And I've talked to a couple people, and it's like, don't you feel like you, you know, aren't you a little bit upset about being lied to and not having a choice? And basic response so far is, no, not really. I don't vote for the person. I vote for the party. Like, oh, my God. Please go back and read 1984. Please vote for him. My God, if you've been paying attention for the last four years, that's what you're getting. I even ask him, I say, you in favor of, uh, you know, trans, trans women, you know, Boys competing in women's sports. No, not at all. Well, your party and your president just, uh, you know, they're in favor of that. He's trying to rewrite Title IX for it, so keep voting for it. You in favor of letting repeat offenders out on no bail? No, not at all. Well... Your party wants that, and your new quote-unquote nominee wants that. So go ahead, keep voting for it. It's just baffling, absolutely baffling. They're screaming the Republican Trump has to tone down their rhetoric, but boy, are right, they out there with Magas and Nazis, Hitler. They have to be eliminated. Hello? Who needs to turn down the rhetoric? Republicans want to ban sexually explicit books from grade schools and junior high. The 
they're banning books. Nazis, Nazis. Meanwhile, they're banning Dr. Seuss, for Christ's sake. Sorry, I think I'm on the right side of that argument. Hey, turkey. I'm going after J.D. Vance. He's weird. He's, well, I'm sorry. If he's weird, go ahead. Call me weird. I'll take that over whatever the hell is going on in your side of the aisle. Yeah, so... I've probably said enough, so... 603 weirdo and... Signing off and getting ready to turn up the music and enjoy the rest of this here early morning ride.